Montreal was the was there before New York on, on the disco scene because I think it attracted people to come party in Montreal because uh, of the open mind in Montreal. Uh, at the origin of disco was the gay scene. Jonathan! Pictures, come. turn around. At the time, it was, of course, the richest city in Canada. It was the biggest city in Canada. And all of these, it, I think it just happened. I mean, you know, there was a limelight opened way before Studio 54. They started playing disco music way before the the, they did in New York. Montreal became this great party town. We always had this reputation of being a very free-spirited and open-minded city. And uh, I think maybe that's why. I'm the one who told you to wear the white fur coat, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, no one tells me what to wear. People actually thought it was sort of a revolution in music. Yeah. A lot of people almost left what they were doing before and they were very well-known singers yeah. and tried disco. Jonathan Harrison! Hey, hello, 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 hello. I remember my uncles, my older uncles, going out uh, on Saturday nights and uh, that was kind of fun, funny to me when I was young. I was looking at them dressing up in polyester suits that would, with some weird hairdo trying to zip their, their pants with a fork. So tell us, honey, what's it like? A top model acclamé à l'international. It's fun. It's less, there's less pressure with disco, I find, in comparison to other styles, social styles, like salsa or tango. And there's less pressure with disco. It's a little freer. Um, yeah, I loved it. She's crazy like well, I think that you can't write a movie about Montreal in 1976 without, you know, uh, without mentioning the Olympics, without mentioning what what changed us all as as a, as a, as, a, as a nation is is the rise of the Parti Québécois, and 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 the language rules that that came out after it, which really shaped the Quebec and and, and Montreal into what the city that it is now. What was interesting was that. For so many, it was this beautiful victory, and for so many, it was a disaster. But back then, it, you were on this side or that side. There was no one in the middle. It was actually pretty much divided by street for years. So for me, it's also important to tell stories that shows what, what the culture is. And here in Canada, and especially in Quebec and Montreal, we are bilingual people in culture. Adriana, what are you doing with this guy? Look at yourself, come on! The fact is that in the west side of town, people were partying both in French and in English without any regards to the language. I mean, people were mixing together uh, during the weekends and, and dancing, uh, you know, on the music. Uh, and uh, I thought that was uh, very interesting in, in, in the script to show that people could party together. And even though we have the English characters and the French characters in the movie, which is half and half, uh, the, you know, that depicts what Montreal was at the time and still is today, um, a bilingual city. If we want to do real Canadian movies, we have to have more movies where all of those cultures cohabit together. And, 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 and I think it's important. That's also why I wrote Bon Cup, Bad Cup uh, four years ago, because I wanted to, to tell a story that was really Canadian. Scratch, work your magic. She's crazy like a fool. We thought it was an original take on it to uh, actually go in that direction and show, uh, you know, politically, to show uh, the English point of view on the politics of the era is something we, we've never done in a Quebec movie. We don't do that. So we knew may maybe that would bring up some discussion. But uh, the thing is, when they started to talk about it in the media, basically most critics in Montreal said that uh, the English in the movie was very realistic with the period and it contributed to uh, uh, depicting what it really, really was. There was one person that criticized it and then other people responded. Uh, and that, I thought that was really interesting because it's gonna create a debate. Fine, you know? 
it's a point of view of Montreal that we never see in Canadian movies. And uh, I think, especially in Toronto, people might be interested. We talk about Toronto in the movie, uh, why people wanted to move to Toronto at the end of the 70s, and they did. And then the city, you know, took on the country, I would say. Uh, and Montreal lost its first place. I think that's really something we never talk about. Wait,